Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. A quick fuck you revisit of this fluke uh, steaming pile of dog turd. A question in need is an arse indeed. Here's the problem, wa, is you never argue with an idiot. They just drag you down to their level and beat you with experience. So we're going to go through some of the questiones, what got posited on the comments, uh, more like deposited on the comments, and I will prove to you that this is an utter piece of garbage. Now, one of the interesting things is we got a moly, moly, moly over on the Patreon page because Fruk, in their infinite wisdom, actually commented on the Vigeo before it went uh, public. Well, it was just uh, in the early stages of early access for the patrons and said uh, kind of in a schmarmy way that I was an idiot and uh, I didn't know how to use the fucking thing. Essentially, I'm paraphrasing, of course, you know, in corporatocracy lingo, uh, they weren't quite that blatant. But, uh, you know, I read between the lines, if you know what I'm saying. Unfortunately, that uh, it's deleted now. It's not there anymore. So if somebody, somebody thought better of leaving a uh, steaming pile of turd on a Vigeo about a steaming pile of turd. And the first thing what struck me, well, the first comment what uh, poked me in the soft underbelly was uh, I was kind of getting heated. The guys could hear the, the rage spit supersonically flying out of my mouth. And I don't ex have an excuse for that. I did get heated because I implicitly, tacitly, I like using these instruments, the, the fluke. I like the 87 that I have. It's a great meter. The 117, it's a great meter. I... I buy the flute because it's the best. And there's no fucking around. There's no question marks when you're troubleshooting, right? So that is a tacit or implicit kind of, uh, what would you call that when you when you give a shill thing, but it's a, an acknowledgement that it's it ain't teabag, essentially, is what I'm grasping at. So that kind of makes me look like a fucking asshole when they come out with something that's a steaming pile of shit. So... It, it pisses me off, quite frankly. Now, what was I saying? Yeah, so I get fucking heated. My mistake. I'm, I'm human. Sorry. Now, let's let's try this. Okay, so second comment was I didn't take the Jesus patch off. The Jesus fucking patch is off. For frog snacks. Get your head out of your ass. Just because it's not on camera, every little fucking thing doesn't mean I fucking didn't think of it. Let's try this. Now, this is plugged in. Okay, so this guy, for fuck's sakes, it's plugged into the wall over here. See? Plugged. Fucking fuck. Making me do this all over. Taking away time from my drinking. Now, I'm going to take this hand. I'm going to ground it on. Oh, no, no. Let me show you here. Let me show you. We'll do a continuity check. I'm going to put this in the ground lug. In the fucking ground lug. Continuity. Continuity. Okay, so we're on amps. We should run. We got zero, but there is voltage there. Oh, no voltage now. That's nice. It only shows voltage when it's right in the crux to the cork stuffer. You show me where the fuck it says on there. Well, it's got to be touching this thing in the perfect location. Otherwise... Yeah, like this. What the fuck is this red for? Here. That looks like a target to me. But anyway, okay, so let's put that aside. That nonsense aside. We gotta hit the hit the button here. We'll go VAC. Now I might not be grounded greatly. But oh it's sort of working. Kinda working. That's exactly what you want when you're an elect chicken and you're testing things. You always wanna be questioning what the fuck is going on it's this is a fantastic idea it's got built-in chintziness with the, the top of the line fruk brand chintziness fantastic okay so i'm gonna ground myself out still fuck all nothing okay let's grab the wire with my bare hands and then stick her in the crux oh oh now it works it works now so i guess i was i must have been doing it wrong so not only is it a piece of shit to whom I gave the benefit of maybe it's a crib death, maybe it's just a faulty unit. No, 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 no. Fluke 
themselves, in their infinite wisdom, comment that I'm an idiot and I'm not using it properly. So, I, this is no longer a crib death. It is an absolutely poorly engineered, poorly conceived, and poorly executed piece of shit. Garbage. Utter garbage. You're going in there and you're, you're fucking dicking around. The other thing is the T5, yeah? The T5, what'll do, what, what guys will do, like HVAC guys or, you know, electricians use them too because they're very quick, is they put the lead in like this. Okay, they put the lead in like this. That way it's kind of one hand touches the thing, one hand goes to ground, you can see what's going on. Here's the thing now. If you got her in current sense, if you got this in current sense and you mistakenly hit something, you jam this in up, up to something hot, now you're touching ground and it's grounding through you. Remember, this generally only works when you're grounded. So you're training yourself to ground yourself out to get a proper reading nice and quick so you don't have to touch any bare conductor. This thing is just so mind-bogglingly stupid. It's a fucking lawsuit waiting to happen. I, I just, the mind boggles. So you got to wonder, what in the name of all that is ungodly and unholy were they thinking when they put this to market? And now, la pièce de résistance, the smoking gun, the, the flies buzzing around the aborted fetus that is this pile nice image i know it is a pile and if you if you can manage to step out from behind your wholesaler's counter where you your keyboard warrioring on the previous video have a look at this wa well, we are going to put this in voltage check if you've ever seen these in the field with a few scuffs and bruises you will know that the electricians oh i like chickens sorry i misspoke there always have this sticking out because it makes it easier for them to test things. They just have to ground out the, the black lead and then they test. Watch this in shock and horror. So we're used to the T5, right? We're using the T5 in our everyday and then we upgrade to the T6. Let's jam that in there. Okay. Now we got this meter over here. Let's get her in the same frame. 106 volts AC, right where you put your dingus end. For frog snacks, that is the worst fucking idea I ever done seen. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick well away from this thing and keep your wallet closed around these fluke motherfuckers. Quite a bit fewer customer reviews, and this one's, it's only 60 bucks in the difference. This one gives you, uh, oh, false readings, but it gives you the hertz measurement as well, the frequency. Wait for the next gen. Uh, always considered fluke, top of the line test equipment. Been in the electrical business 40 years. Took a month to get after he ordered it. Surprise, uh, trying it out on the test bench and field sense position. I get readings all over the place. Sometimes get a zero voltage reading when I know for a fact it's an energized circuit. That is scary. Field sense does not work, end of story. Not ready for prime time. Like the meter, but the voltage sense needs to work better. Here we are on the Fruke website calibration here. Uh, fluke. Oh, what's this? Let's have a look at this. I got a feeling now that the monkeys are running the circus. That is to say, instead of well, engineering never runs the, the show. It's always sales. Why is that? Because the hardest part of any job is selling it. Um, let's have a look at some of the lingo about this. Communication specialist. Content specialist. I was looking at this previous. Content specialist. And you see right off the hop here just how fucking vile and sick it is. It's now owned by Fortive Corporation, which owns, uh, sadly, Tektronix, as well as Matco. We don't have Matco here in Canada too, too much. Very telling lingo here. Uh, all the buzzwords, marketeers, subject matter experts, digital campaign scripts for marketing videos. 
great, resourceful, great at figuring out the angle. Just absolutely marketeering toxicity right there. So guaranteed, the guys who designed this aren't don't get pissed at these at these review at these review videos. They laugh because they know exactly what the fuck is wrong with their stuff. But it's the sales department what pushes it out there because they got to make their numbers. So they take uh, now this is a problem because here is a trusted. I couldn't think of a more trusted brand than Fluke in, in, as far as uh, electricians and electrical instruments. And they are taking that trust and they are monetizing it. Uh, they're, they're selling shit that should not have left the shop, in my opinion. It, it, it doesn't fucking work. You ever pick up a fluke meter that doesn't work? It's unheard of. Okay, we're up here at the lingo here, company culture. Look at this. Look at this. At fluke, we believe in growth. Nothing about quality. Not like our employees take on big challenges. We are honest about what's working and what isn't. And we work hard to innovate and get better. Is that the fucking comment? You, Jesus Christ! You tell me I'm not using the fucking thing right, and it doesn't work. It wasn't. It had never. The mind boggles. Fluke is now a has been for some time a wholly owned subsidiary of Fortiv, along with Dynapar, Fluke. Oh, those are uh, metering devices. Like you better root, you see those at the gas station. Matco Tools, Tektronics. Oh man. Oh man. Whilst I got the bit between horn and taint, or rather maybe the bull by the balls, we'll have a look here at this Fortiv uh, Corporation financials, or at least the stock price and the debt ratio. See what they kind of have in plan here. This got spun off of the big corporation, big American corporation, 16. It's three times the size of this now, but it only got spun off in 2016. So we're, we're only just, this is just the, the clip of the wedge here, the cusp of the tip type deal. And uh, hopefully you get a bit of, a, a bit more spit for fluke before they get totally uh, ramrodded, you know, hopefully they ease it in what we can do here is stock price stock price is steadily increasing so what's that tell us uh don't buy it at this point but what we need to do is look to see if there's if they're uh leveraging up on debt if they're if they're leveraging up on debt then they're kind of gutting these guys uh for the cash money now or they could be that's at least a layman's augering of of well penny stock scams at the very least of which I have been uh, on the tail end of far too many. We go over here to uh, press releases, press releases. So they just had a seven cent dividend per share. That means they're, they're making money or they might be borrowing money to, to give out a dividend to make it look good. They're uh, Bank of America, Merrill Lynch. Okay, so they're talking to bankers. Why would they be talking to bankers? For investment or for loans. Let's see if we can find something a little more to the point. Uh, fourth quarter earnings conference call. Maybe there's some stuff in here. Oh, they just scheduled it. Got to be something here we can look at. Third quarter results, 2017. This will tell us some stuff here. Yada, 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 yada. See, they put all this BS in front, forward-looking statements, what nobody reads, and then the numbers come behind. And the numbers, well, they do lie, but they don't lie nearly as much. Gross profit, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're making what? Okay, interest expense. So this is interesting here. 68 million in nine months that would give us uh what's that we go 68 divided by nine equals times 12 equals divide that by 
what's a good interest rate? 4%, 5%? Say 4% on a corporate loan. 2.266 billion in debt they're sitting at. Let's uh let's have another peek at something else here. That's just a guesstimate, mind, how much debt they have. And they're caught. let's see here. Did the old jazz hands routine on the gargler. What for seeing well, some very salient points here. The talking heads can tell you whatever the fuck they want to tell you, but you follow the monies. We're having a look at uh, the debt to equity ratio, the equity in shareholder money, what got put in versus the debt. A uh, whole bunch of stuff here. It's always the salient points for some reason seem to be at the very bottom. This, uh, let's see. Net income per employee, 37,000. Jesus. That's, that can't be right. Something wrong there. Always got to wonder about that. Where are we? What are we looking at? Oh, there we go. Long-term debt to equity. 107. Industry, 4.21. That sector is 8.3. So that is an order, a couple orders of magnitude larger than the industry. What's that telling us? There's a lot of fucking debt there, partner. Let's look here, over here, some actual numbers. Uh, they have loans out, long-term loans for four billion, and the company equity is worth 3.790 billion. So now, as we saw in the uh, financial crisis or the uh, real estate crash of aught nine, when, <laughs> when you are paying more debt on something than it is worth, that is your mortgage is underwater, you treat it differently, quite a bit differently. Now, I don't claim to be an expert in high finance, but we can see here uh, the debt to equity ratio is 1.07. So now you got a big old huge mortgage payment to make on uh, the mortgage is more than the house is worth. Uh, you're going to do anything it takes to make those sales. Sell, 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 unfortunately. So just so you're aware, this is all public domain knowledge. There's nothing... There's nothing fancy about this, just looking at the numbers. But when you take to the time to scrape the patina of the corpo marketing BS and you see what's really going on here, they are using uh, good brand names in order to get more and more debt, essentially. And this is happening all over the world in every industry. You see here, it's not even that high. Uh, max is 1.25. Um, there's, you know, 20 or 15 percent of these amount of companies that are even worse than this, and that's on the the 500 um, top stocks. The NSE, what, what is it? The the 500. What what the fuck ever? It just looking at this stuff, you know, makes me want to buy ammunition and move up to the mountains. Well, I ticked off one of those boxes anyway. You'll have to guess which one. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice.